So with that, we conclude module number three. And now we are moving on to module number four, which is random processes. Well, in the name of the course, you, you see probability theory and stochastic processes. So a random process or a stochastic process, which means the exact same thing, can be described using two approaches. Okay, so what's a random process or what's a stochastic process? A random process can be defined as the sequence of outcomes of a random experiment. Okay, the easiest way to visualize this is like uh, you, you, you toss a coin repeatedly and the outcomes, well, they are separate random variables, but also if you attach them to a time axis, Okay, this trial number one, trial number two, trial number three, etc. So you assign time indices to each trial. What you get is a discrete time random process. Or, for instance, similarly, you throw a die uh, uh, repeatedly. That's all. That also describes a random process. Or maybe you uh, observe some quantity which has random. Uh, properties across time, okay? For instance, the number of people at a bus stop throughout time, okay? When you just look at it in one instant, that's a random variable, the number of people there. It's a random variable. It depends on uh, the, the behavior of people. But if you look at it continuously, okay, what you observe is a random process, okay? Uh, that's one approach to define a random process. The other approach is random process is a random function of time. Okay, so you have a function with respect to time, but the output or the outcome is random. It has a distribution. Okay, now these two approaches, they are not that different. It's just two different ways to look at the same thing. Okay, and a little... Uh, note on, on this name issue here, uh, random process versus stochastic process. Um, the etymology uh, is the factor here. So you have probability, the, 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 uh, the, the word probability is derived from Latin and the word stochastic, it comes from Greek. So they have the same meaning essentially, but if you like, you can use probabilistic or random as opposed to stochastic, okay? Um, let's talk about some examples. Well, we have, we have talked about a couple of them, but for instance, the sequence of outcomes of repeated die throw, the temperature that the thermometer shows. For instance, if you track the value of a thermometer, for instance, if you, if you look at it continuously, what you observe is a continuous time random process. But if you check the thermometer periodically, like at, at at the top of each hour, okay? It's a discrete time random process. What you read from the thermometer at each hour is different. It's a random variable, but when you sequence them out, you get a random process. Or the stock market index. Again, you can, you can uh, model this as a continuous time random process or a discrete time. For instance, what is the value at the end of the day, okay? Or the number of people at a bus stop, et cetera. Okay, so the, the relationship between the concept of a random process and the concept of a random variable is crucial, okay? Here, you have to observe the time component in each example. If you remove the time, if you just observe this random experiment at a specific time instant, it becomes a random variable. So we call these samples or observations. If you observe this random variable, the random process at a specific time instant, what you see is a random variable. So in that sense, this first approach becomes meaningful. A random process is a sequence of random variable observations. Okay, that's another way to look at it. Okay. Um, next, we look at the types of random processes. We have discrete time versus continuous time random processes and discrete valued versus continuous value. So we have essentially four types of random processes. Um, for instance, here you have 
discrete valued and discrete time random process. You see it's discrete time because the time instants are, uh, are not continuous, they are epochs, they are like turns, they are like the trials of a coin toss, okay, round one, round two, round three, etc. It's not continuous, but also the values it can take are discrete. It's like the, the outcome of a die throw. It's either one, two, three, four, five, or six, okay? The first one, the outcome is three. The second one, the outcome is four. The third one, the outcome is one. The fourth one, the outcome is six, etc. Okay, it's a discrete type, discrete value, random process. So in this case, in this example, uh, you don't observe a value here, or you don't observe a value here, for instance. Okay, it's important. Uh, as opposed to this, you have, for instance, the discrete time continuous valued uh, random process. Here again, the time is um, discrete. So you have rounds rather than time instants, but the, the value, the outcome value you observe can be continuous. For instance, you are reading a thermometer at the top of every hour and the value you read, the temperature can take continuous values, okay? The, the time is discrete, but the outcome value is continuous. Or for instance, look at this one, it's continuous time, but discrete value. For instance, a good example to this is uh, the number of people at a bus stop. If a person arrives, it increases by one. So it cannot increase by half. It cannot increase by 0 0.3, okay? Um, well, in this example, it drops down to negatives, but it's possible as long as the out outcomes are discrete, okay? But the time, it's continuous. So you are observing this random process during every instant, it's the continuous time process. It takes values in every time instant. And the fourth one, we, we have the continuous time, continuous valued random process, okay? The best example I can think of is a sort of signal. For instance, it could be a communication signal, uh, okay? Uh, in, in a wireless communication medium, for instance, or it could be a biomedical signal like an ECG, EEG kind of signal. Um, anything you can think of that is continuous time. So it, it takes values across all time instance and it's continuous value. It can take any value on the real line. Okay, so these are the types of random processes.